In rural Tajikistan, kids find a lot of reasons not to go to school. Omina found plenty of reasons. She skipped the classes she didn't like, and her grades showed it. After ninth grade, the last mandatory year of school, Omina planned to drop out altogether. Then a program came to Omina's school to test whether a two-part intervention could work to keep students from dropping out. USAID's Student Motivation Learning Program used an early warning system to help teachers identify and support at-risk students. And it created an after-school tutoring and enrichment program to make sure they did well and wanted to stay. In this village, there was a lot of work to do in the house. Omina wanted to stay at home and not continue her studies at the end of the ninth grade. After this program started in her school, she was motivated to go to school every day. Now, her grades are improving. She was getting poor grades, and now she's scoring higher. The school dropout prevention pilot is an impact evaluation testing promising low-cost interventions that may reduce school dropout. And we're doing this in four countries in Asia, Cambodia, India, Tajikistan, and Timor-Leste. With dropout now a global concern, the research could have far-reaching ramifications. The pilot provided tools and strategies that each country adapted for its unique local circumstances. In Tajikistan, students are most likely to leave after the ninth grade, so ninth grade teachers receive special training to lead a tutoring and enrichment program. For many, it was their first exposure to using an interactive teaching style that would increase students' confidence, creativity, and enjoyment. <laughs> This is a tea shop. First. These teachers have graduated either from vocational schools on education or from institutions long, long ago, and they have never seen any other training. I think this program made teachers become active. It changed the way they teach. It changed their relationships with the students. زیرا خوانندگانی مو هم خوانندگان هم آموزگارانی مو تشنه همی خیل درس و تشنه چنین مشغولیت ها هستند تشنه چنین مواد ها هستند مو مواد های زیاد رو دست راست کردیم و منیتورینگ نشون داد که معلمان از این مشغولیت ها خیلی و خیلی خرسند هستند معلم در اونجا وقت نداره مای تیچر هاز نو تایم این ریگولر کلاسز But in the tutoring classes, he has more time to answer questions. We also get to work in groups. I was weak in regular classes, but I performed well in the tutoring classes. Now I'm doing well in my regular classes, too. After the first hour of interactive academic tutoring, the fun really starts. Pilot provides each school with an educational resource center where, through arts and crafts, games and sports, kids spend a second hour just having a good time. The social and recreational hour, what we also call enrichment activities, they're just to provide extra motivation for the kids to not only come to the after-school program but to increase their attendance in school. It's sort of the fun factor. When they go home, uh, they're doing their housework, they're taking care of their younger siblings, they're doing field work. It's their time to be kids. I came to these classes because the program had interesting games. For instance, 
we were playing checkers, chess, and dominoes. Regular classes are boring, but tutoring classes are very interesting. We studied for one hour and had one hour to play games. In Tajikistan, the stories of at-risk students who decided to stay in school suggest that using an after-school enrichment program is working. I was not attending classes, I was skipping them. And when this tutoring class started, it was interesting. And I started coming to school. Maybe if this program had not existed, I would have just ended up wandering in the streets. Now, I am studying accounting and computers in college. There are many students that left school after ninth grade, but participating in tutoring classes has encouraged us. We want to continue on in 10th and 11th grade.